Hello, welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations in Clay. My name is uh, Louis Palladini and tonight I'd like to do a blue marlin fish. And I'll show you how to do that from start to finish. You know, uh, this is a very popular fish for fishermen out in the ocean. They like to catch them because they put up quite a fight when you're trying to bring them in. I'll show you the types of clay that we're going to use. You can use this modeling clay which never hardens. I used to use this all the time as a kid. And, uh, you know, once I got bored with it, I just made something new. Another type of clay that you can use is air hardening clay, which will harden like in a couple hours or overnight, which can be bought in any art store. And then you can paint it and it's permanent. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the oven about 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. And, uh, you know, you can drill it, sand it, make a tremendous amount of detail. I'll show you the size balls of clay that we'll be using tonight. The, I, I have them kind of all put together. This, this piece, this ball right here, I want to use that for the sail on the back. This little ball I got attached right here, that we're going to use for one of the fins. This one here we'll use for one of the, the tail. And then there's a couple of these that are going to be used. One of these will be used for the, I'll show you, the, the jaw. And then another one will be used for another, like, fin underneath. And that's how big they are. They're kind of small. So I'll put those down and we'll get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make the body, which is we're going to make from the sword all the way down to the tail here. And I'll show you how we'll do that. We will take this ball of clay here. The easiest way is to take now, roll it on the table. Just like this. That way we makes it a little easier. Makes it easy to get started. So what I'm going to do now is take, see I'm, I'm taking and squeezing that. And then what I want to do is this piece here, we're going to make into the, the sword. This is going to be the, the head. See, I'm pulling that out. And do that. Pull it out like that. Just like that. And then what I want to do is just make a slight round that off a little bit. And then what we're going to do is, see how this, I'm trying to make it down to the tail. See how I'm pulling that? Just like that. And now what I want to do is I want to put this down on the table to flatten it out one side. So I'm going to take this, see this? Push it down on the table like that. Just like that. See how I flattened that out? It's a, that gives you a better view of how I flattened it. So I'm just going to do that. Try to flatten that out a little bit. See, I'm taking my fingers and pushing down on that. Just like that. Because so we want to get the, at least get the body started. The next thing that we want to do is I want to do the tail. See this piece right here? And I'm going back and forth, the blue tail. We're going to attach that to the body. So I'll show you how we'll make that. I'll show you this. We're going to make this shape right here. So what we do is we take, and I'll try to, almost think of like a boomerang or something. That's, that's the shape we'll be working with. See, I'm flattening that out like that. And I'm pulling on this side also. 
So just squeeze on both sides, flatten it out, and then pinch it there. See when I said it almost looks like a boomerang? So, just take. And what I want to do is I want to measure it against my model here and see if it's approximately the same size. And see that? It is. So what I'm going to do is take and just flatten this a little more. Just like that. Now what I want to do is I want to attach it right here. See what I'm doing here? So what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll attach this just like that. Then we'll put that down on the, the table for a second. And on the behind, when I come from behind, I want to take and make sure it's attached from the very bottom, just like that. And then what we're going to do is I'll flip it back over again. And now, I just want to smooth this out a little bit. I'm just going to take my fingers and smooth it. See how this is looking now? See how we get the nice tail? that we attached in the body. The next thing that I want to do is I want to make the lower jaw or mouth. See right here, this gray piece right here that I'm touching? We're going to make that on the, the blue marlin fish. I'm going to take this, this ball of clay here, and then what I want to do is see how I'm taking it, almost making a triangular shape flattening it out like that. We're going to do we're going to do now is I'm going to put that right about here. See that? So I'm going to say I'm working that in with my fingers. See how I did that? Pretty cool, huh? Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to make the sail on the back of the blue marlin fish. See, this is the sail right here. See that blue piece right there? We're gonna, I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this ball of clay here and start squeezing it, flattening it out. And... See, I'm flattening that. But what I'm also doing is trying to lengthen it this way. So, see that? And I'll show you. It's easy to work it from this side. Take, press down like that, then flatten. And then what I want to do is, is make a point. So I'm pulling this up here. See how we're going to make that nice point? on the sail. So let's see, let's keep working that. See, that's the general shape that we want. But I'm just going to keep working this, flattening it out. Like this. just like that. That's the general shape that you want. See how I flattened it nicely? So you've been taking your fingers and flatten like that, and then you create the shape by doing this with your fingers. The next thing that I want to do is I want to put it on top here. But before I do that, I want to just double check on the size, see if it's approximately the same size as the other one. You know, if the proportion is a little off, that's fine. Uh, it's about the same size. So what I'm going to do is just take and 
I'm going to put this up top here now. I'm going to roughly see where. See how I'm putting that on there like that? So I just place that on there. What I will do is on the back now, we want to take and go from the very back, and I want to make sure that's firmly attached from the back. See I'm doing that? See I'm taking my fingers and kind of pulling that up and attaching it? We want to make sure it's on there pretty securely. But then what we're going to do is we're going to take on the other side, see this, is take the toothpick, just kind of make sure that we work it in like this. See how I'm doing that? Take the toothpick and kind of push that up against there like that because I want it to be attached on both sides. So we did that. The next thing that I would like to do is I want to make a f this fin right here. See this blue fin right here? Uh, that I'm kind of rubbing my finger over? We're going to make that, and I'll show you how we'll do that. We're going to take this piece of, of ball of clay here. See I'm flattening this out between my fingers? And then we take and kind of create the point like that. Just like that. See how I'm doing that? See that nice shape? Just going to take and work that. And then I'm going to put that right about here on the fish or the um, so I place that right there and then we can take and kind of squeeze that in like that the next thing that I want to do is I want to take another piece of clay. We're going to use the additive technique. We, and I'm going to take a little bit of clay here. Might as well attach it to this. Is we're going to make this piece right here. See this? This like thin, this kind of black coming down right here. I'll rub my finger over it. That right there, we're going to make that piece and then attach it to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is take and create that piece. So you take and squeeze it from this side, and then squeeze it from this side. And we have a little too much clay, I think, so what I want to do I'm going to compare it to the other model. If you look, it's approximately the same size. So if I can hold it up from behind, that way you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach that right here underneath. So I'm going to go all around the top. Then I'm going to do it from the, the very bottom. See that? We want to make sure that that gets attached from the bottom. And then I'm going to flip it over and take the toothpick and kind of just make sure that that gets right there. And then we'll work on making some more fins. The next the fin that I want to make next is this one right here, that little blue one, and I'll show you how to do that. So we'll take this, and I'll show you the shape that we want. We're going to flatten it out, and then the shape that we want, 
It's going to be something like this. I'll show you now. See that right there? That's the shape we want. And we're going to place that. I'm going to place it right on the back here. See right here I'm doing this? Just like that. And then we're going to do like we did before. I want to take, just work that in. See how I just did that? And then we're going to go from the other side. And we're going to take our toothpick. And I'm just going to kind of work it from this side. So we got that. The next thing that I want to do is I want to make, there's two more fins that we have to make. So using the additive technique, I'm going to get some more clay off here. I'm going to get a couple of pieces of clay, actually. Now, what I'm going to do is make another fin. I'll show you the shape that we want. See, I'm flattening that out with my fingers. And then... Then I'm kind of making, it almost looks like a triangular shape there, like that. I think I made it a little too big. And when I compare it to my model, I did. So what I'm going to do, it's easy. Because we're using the additive technique, we can take some of this clay off. Just take it off. Now we'll rework it, and I'll show you the shape that we want. See that fin? That's the shape we want. You make that shape, and then you flatten it out. And I'll show you where we're going to put this. We're going to put this right under here. And from the back, like I had shown you before, we take this and we kind of pull that up to make sure it's attached on the back. And then what we're going to do is flip it over and just use the toothpick. See I'm doing that? Now you really can start to see him starting to take shape. There's one more fin that I want to do, and then we'll be done with the fins. Then I'll show you how to make the eye, and then uh, some of the we have to make some lines on here. To so I took this clay here, and flatten it out, and then we want to make. Let me see. A little too big, so I'm going to take a little more clay off now. Okay. See that shape that we're making right now? We're going to put that underneath. Put that right, see I'm putting that right underneath there? And we're going to go from the, we're going to go from the back again. I'm going to pull up on that, and then what I'm going to do is take and just attach that like that. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to make the eye. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go take this toothpick here and right about here, put that in there like that, and then just take and work that like that. See how we did that? I'm going to take and 
just put it in one more time and just kind of work it a little more. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to start making some lines on some of these things. So on this underside fin here, right, we'll just make some lines going like this. See I'm doing this? And then we'll take I'll do some lines here. And then on the sail up here, might make more sense to flip it upside down. And I'm just going to take and go like this with the lines. See that? Take. Just keep going like that with the lines. We just see I'm doing that. And then we're going to do some lines on this one. Just like that. It has a really nice effect when you put those in. And then on these here, I'm going to put some lines on this one. The tail. Okay, so see how I'm just kind of making those little lines like that? And then we'll do the same on the other side. Let's see. Just like that. Now, as you can see, we finished making the blue marlin fish, and it is now ready for firing in the oven. And now that the blue marlin fish has been fired in the oven, it is now ready for painting. I will show you the colors of paint that we use to painting it. We have acrylic paints here. There's about 18 in this package. They can be bought in any art store and I'll show you the colors we'll be using. We'll be using black, we'll be using blue, we'll be using light blue, we'll be using pink, and they'll be using gray. I'll show you the size brushes we're going to be using. We're going to be using this brush here. I like this. It's got the nice fine tip. I keep this piece of plastic over it to protect it. So we'll, until we use it, I'll just leave that like that. We're going to be using this one here for the body. We'll be using this one here to paint the mouth pink. And then I'll pull a few more of these brushes here so we can use them. I'll probably end up using some of these brushes for more than one color. But these are the uh, brushes that we want to use. So the first thing that I want to paint is the mouth. So well, the area that we want to paint is right inside here. We're rubbing right there. I want to paint that a pink in color. I'm going to dip this in, and I'll show you. I'm going to paint right here. See that right there? And then I'll show you the front. See how they're going to do that? Just like that. And now we will paint the gray color. See that? We got that. Just like that. Just paint right along like that. See how I'm doing that? 
and then paint just like that. And then we're going to paint, get that, just like that. And then there was a little gray up here that I wanted to do. See that? Just like that. So that's the gray portion. So now we'll take this little cover off. Dip that. We're going to dip this right in the eye. See how we did that? I'll try this brush. So now what we want to do, see this? See I'm painting that blue? Just like that. I'll show you, we'll paint that. So you're going to paint the tail. See how I'm painting that? And we just kind of work our way around through the front like that. Then we're going to do that. Paint that like that. I'm going to paint the nice sail right here like this. See how we're doing that? Just like that, just dab it. See how we did that? And then I do want to paint these blue under here. Paint that other little fin there. Just like that. So what I want to do here, see this right here? We're going to paint this black. We'll paint this here black. Just like that. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to paint I'm just going to dab this brush in again. I do want to paint a little more blue. So see this fin right here? I'm going to paint that with the blue. So. See how I did that? And the next thing that we want to do is I want to paint stripes. So what we're going to do, so I'll put this down for a second. I'm going to do the light blue. So I'm going to take, pick this up, And I'm going to paint these lines. See, like that? Just like that. And 
and then paint it over the black. Just like this. See this? And you're going to basically make all these, these lines all the way up through here. See how I'm doing that? Just like that. And now, I also want to paint them up above here, over the black. See how we're doing that? Just like that. See how nice that looks? And for the last thing that we want to touch up is I want to add a little more blue in there. So we're going to take In these areas here, just kind of do a little blue in there too. See that? Just like that. Give it a little more blue color. See that? Gives it a really nice effect. And I'll show you what the completed version should look like. Put, we'll put this one over here. And now we have the completed version of the blue marlin fish. See all the different colors? The nice blue, the blue sword, the blue fin. Then you get the blue tail. You get some blue on the um, underside. You had the nice gray, and we did the light blue stripes. And that's what the completed version should look like. And I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay, and I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.